What is up guys? It's your boy Jake and today I'm going to be doing another Beyblade unboxing for you guys. So, let's get oh, let's get right into it. So this is the Hasbro Beyblade Burst Spryzen and Odax Double Pack. This Double Pack has been out for a decent amount of time now, so if you've already seen an unboxing for it, then you should still be watching mine because I'm amazing. And I'm the best Bay tuber. <clears throat> but just looking from the front, the Bays actually look pretty decent. We have Spryzen, and then we have Odax right here. And I think it looks pretty cool. They didn't do anything like super, super weird with the color schemes or anything. And you know, it just says Beyblade Burst right there. Nothing that special. And on the back, you do see the stats for each individual bay. Spryzen is a uh, balanced type bay, so it's going to be kind of high in agility, higher in attack, but it's actually pretty balanced everywhere. And then Odax is an attack type. So, it's going to be extremely high in attack and... And it's actually pretty high in weight and really low in agility, which is kind of different for an attack type. Bay. And then you see the branding for the Hasbro um, Beyblade Burst app, which if you haven't downloaded yet, I highly recommend downloading. It is absolutely like fantastic, and I think you guys should download it. So, let's unbox this bad boy. Here's your instruction manual. You don't even need that piece of garbage. Let's pull out the Beyblade. All right, so I finally was able to get these bays out of the box and here they all are, by all I mean two. Kind of spread out, you can see each individual piece. So let's take a look at them. Here is the performance tip, which is kind of interesting. It kind of looks like a crayon tip. Then you have Odax's Forge Disc. And then finally, you have Odax. That looks pretty cool if you ask me. And there is the code if you can read it. Now, let's move on to Spryzen. Here is the performance tip. Can't really see it, but it has a tiny little dot which pops out a little bit. Then you have the Forge Disc, which is known as Spread in Takara Tomy. I believe this is the same forge disc, the same forge disc that comes on um, Harusu. And then finally, we have Spryzen, which I think is actually a pretty cool-looking layer. I really like the little, you know, jewels that pop out. It's just kind of a nice color scheme, in my opinion. I think Hasbro did a good job with this one. And here is the code if you can read it. So I put the base together, and here is what they look like. This is Odax, and I think it does look pretty cool if you ask me. I like the gold, the silver, the black, uh, all the colors match. Um, the blue, I'm not too... I mean, it's okay. It's not like they made it, like, if they would have made it yellow, I would have been a little bit more upset with that, but the blue kind of complements the gray, in my opinion, so I think it looks nice. And then we have Spryzen, which, like I said before, I think it does look pretty cool. I think the red performance tip matches. And overall, it's a pretty nice looking bay. All right, so now we're gonna weigh each bay and see um, what the difference is. So, starting with Odax. As you can see, it weighs 32.9 grams. Now, let's move on to Spryzen. Spryzen weighs 32.6 grams. It's kind of funny that on the box, Odax was shown to have, you know, a lot more in the weight point category than Spryzen, yet the change really, you know, isn't that drastic. Alright guys, so now we're going to move on to a test battle uh, between the two to see, you know, kind of how they stack up. So, let's go. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. As you can see, Spryzen wasn't really doing much, but then it's a uh, performance tip kind of activated. It's now leaning a little bit. Some big contact, actually. There might be a burst finish. And... 
to be close, but Spryzen does take the win. Let's do one more round. Three, two, one, let it flip. They're kind of circling around, they're about to make contact. Uh, Spryzen kind of went all stamina-ish. Let's see what happens. A little bit of contact here and there. They're kind of circling around. And it is going to be a spin finish in favor of Odak. So, these bays seem to, be pretty, seem to be pretty close. I think only an actual battle will determine which one's better. So guys, thank you for watching this battle. More battles, unboxing, and news reporting coming soon. You know, some people don't like me doing news reporting, but, you know, I'm going to do it anyway. Have fun, and bay away.